Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you know my channel, I'm Kangsha. So in this video, you've read the title already. We are doing a my room tour. I did a studio tour before, so you can go check that one out. But this video is about my room, my bedroom. So come in. Once you enter the room, there are basically two sides. This is my bathroom and this is a section where I put like my skincare etc. So fun fact is this one used to basically be the room for my, the, the door entrance for my guest room, the studio tour we just, just saw. So these two rooms used to be like parallel to each other but we shut this one and this one is a cabinet now. And it basically has like, um, you know, all my skincare etc. Things I use, things I want to try. Like it's like a huge space. Um, these are like just skincare. Studio room basically does not have like any skincare etc so this is just like skincare which I want to try and use then coming to this side is basically my uh, bathroom which is like not that khas simple basic functional and uh, yeah looks nice uh, compared to the one I had before this is like a huge upgrade and I really like it and um, yeah I shot like I think a couple of videos we shot in here then uh, moving on from this side to this side basically is um, you know you can see this huge wall it's my um, this wallpaper oh my god I had to such a task to choose this so I was like I either I was very confused between boho vibe and classic vibe for my uh, room and then it took me so I'm very indecisive okay the reason uh, it took me so long to make these uh, tours two years because of my indecisiveness I cannot decide what I want to put I cannot decide if I want to shoot what to do which one so like uh, indecisiveness and like perfectionistic things like me to like you know all this delay and complicate complicate my uh, life a lot so anyways this wallpaper I think I vlogged about this as well but anyways it took me so much time to decide and finally I did it anyways so this one um, it's from Asian paints basically they even do like wallpaper and like uh, even they even do the structure painting as well but this one is a wallpaper and um, yeah those lights again which I got are from local uh, lighting stores from Begum Bazaar and then we have a lamp right here which is from Amazon I got it for like 3000 or 2000 I'm not sure but yeah really nice like I like a lot of good lighting I feel like a room the aesthetic the vibe of the room only has like you know comes with like really good lighting so these are the pieces I have right now and I love using just warm lights in the night so like that's the reason you can uh, see that there's like a lot of warm aesthetic in this um, uh, room so once you enter this is what you see again this watch um, is something I absolutely love like you, you I have a similar one in the hall as well I wanted, I, know, I wanted something very modern uh, and stuff so this one um, again it's been so long that I got all these pieces I really don't remember where I got it from but I will definitely uh, search and like leave links and leave the names of where I got this but this is something I really love and it's one of my statement pieces as well then of course we have my um, massive bed again everything of course here is like carpenter made only and this is a queen size bed now I think you know I do not feel bad to spend money on anything but this mattress it is so expensive and I bought this by myself I'm like why I, I usually used to think like mattresses cost like 5,000 or 10,000 but this one was I think because I, I took one for like my back as well and I think it was freaking 30 or 40 thousand like so much money for a mattress so I wanted some Something which is like you know very um, you know neutral very calm again that's my vibe I don't like really loud um, you know I said it especially when I come to my room I need to feel like at peace in calm so like I have like very neutral colors so this gray this wall that that's the reason it took me so much while to decide this as well ki, is it too loud will I feel like you know it's a little chaotic a little too dark when I come to the room but no only because this is dark like once I step in it's like really nice aesthetic calm uh, neutral vibe and uh, beside the bed I have a ch small side table so actually this is supposed to be on that side but I have a lamp there so I just put this one um, here and uh, yeah like I just have like random my choto, my vlogging camera my lip balm and everything on that uh, table miscellaneous things in that as well and we have my 
uh, cupboards. Now this one was basically full on Pinterest uh, vibe. I will put the picture which I actually took inspiration from for the cupboard. So like the handles and I all I do not want like these traditional ones. So uh, this the carpenter like put uh, what do you say the regular wood made these handles and then I just like got them painted with the painter. So this is how um, the entire section is the same thing. I wish I got the same vibe on the top as well but unfortunately they are silver handles um, and this is how it is if you open then I have all my um, I'm a big jackets person jackets blazers so these are all my uh, jackets and then we have like a couple more drawers right here or more tops clothes etc now this is the only um, organized cupboard so I'm only going to show this one the other one is very messy and one thing I would always suggest is get drawers carpenters always always like you know make us not take drawers because it's like additional work for them and it costs a little more but if you're getting a house renovated and if you're doing cupboards and always get drawers because it's so easy for you to pull out and like see things rather than like you know in shelves you can't see what is behind and all and most of the times you end up not wearing clothes uh, for that reason a lot so like these things like once you pull it out you can literally see what you want like the entire section which is great that's the reason I got uh, drawers but for this only he had cried so much and um, yeah anyways these are the covers the wipe the cupboard and um, then coming here this all basically everything is my clothes this this even the guest room cupboards are filled with my clothes only this one basically has like um, very <laughs> let's not open this <laughs> this one has very random stuff so if you see this cupboard right here is smaller compared to like these ones because so there are so many stupid mistakes we've done with this house that I regret so much that I think I learned a lot of lessons with for this house but that whenever next time I'm going to another house and not make these mistakes so what happened was we were supposed to put this bed this side and that's the reason we made this and this smaller so that like I have a lot of space to walk in so we had to like cut short this like you know length like this so that there's more space here and uh, in the end we had to put the bed this side because I can't put my head that side and sleep and uh, it's like a whole stupid thing but by then they already made these uh, cupboards we could not change them so basically I could not use this for clothes because it's like not hollow enough so I uh, made the carpenter put these uh, tiny hook kind of things and I made this into like a whole sunglasses sections I have a lot of sunglasses a lot of things are not here but they are in very like random handbags but these are the ones which are here at this moment and I like it I love sunglasses so I have a lot of them different different colors etc that's like a cap these are a few handbags which are hanging but yeah cutesy section for my sunglasses I literally can't use this for anything else uh, maybe like you know tiny things here and there so I just like wanted to do something with this and that's the reason I have this for sunglasses it's nice also they don't like you know get like any scratches or something if I just like put like club them together so this is that um, you know section so then coming to this cupboard again um, this is small it's not hollow enough so I can't store a lot of things but this also it's in start the idea was uh, to like use it for handbags only not sure why he left this space though uh, I don't know stupid mistakes in there but yeah all these um, this cupboard is filled with my handbags so these are the bags I generally like, reach out to a lot like a few months uh, since a few months this has been packed I was not able to close my uh, door and anything it was so messy nothing was fitting etc so I recently cleaned out and only put like my you know most used ones in this uh, cupboard and the rest are in that so these are few of my totes and like you know random bags so these ones I don't use a lot and um, basically like I probably should give it away to uh, somebody I have no place to put them as well like I'm telling you the store is in I'm kind of running out of stuff. I need to discard a lot of things and like you know probably give it away or I don't know like a lot of stuff which I don't use I also I still have so I need to like you know see something about it and then finally we have this corner again basically side table a planter and stuff like that I also have like a desk kind of thing which is foldable so if I need something to like put stuff then I can lift it up and I can keep it on that but I'm trying not to because especially when I take like mirror selfies all this is so messy generally um, that it does not look nice so I, I want to avoid it but I can't generally there's a lot of stuff there but then then I have this huge um, mirror I wanted again a mirror for like selfies and stuff 
which you know I can like take like so I needed a full size uh, mirror I wanted a broader in the bottom as well which again he did not give me but yeah again this is the same one so basically I showed you a light in my studio right it is a similar kind of one but that one kind of moves you can individually switch it on switch it off but this is not like that this is like three of them will switch on and you can't even move you can't like operate it in loop individually then uh, i have my oh, my friends photo here so this is one uh, they gifted me for my birthday they are two of my bestest best, best friends this was like a trip from uh, to bombay uh, where i met when that this guy left to you know ireland so this is like our last photo until like you know the next time we meet and it's super cute and i love it so i put it right there and basically this one now i'll make a separate video for this but i'll just give you like a sneak peek of what it is this is my jewelry uh, corner now in this entire room and this entire house um this is like one again one of my favorite corners because i literally curated this entire thing by my uh, self i had to like you know what do you say fight with carpenters like literally tell them piece to piece how i want it but yeah this is the most useful thing for me because jewelry have a lot of it and everything you should like you know be all over the place before and now this kind of keeps it organized and yeah this is like you've seen it and this is finally my balcony i have a balcony for my um, bedroom once you come into my uh, balcony like there's not much there in my balcony but i do have like a shoe rack which i got done for like you know sh sh storing my shoes so basically i have all my um, you know footwear right here basically like my heels my shoes so these are the ones i don't use um, a lot or a lot i mean like on an everyday basis so they are right here and the rest are like outside in the you know near the main door kind of stuff um there are a lot of boots and all which are not there in this because they don't fit so they're like randomly in covers but yeah this is just like a shoe thing or a footwear thing i got made because i needed some storage to put them before this used they should just be in covers and like in my bed or cupboard somewhere i should never get to wear them so i kind of wanted a space where i can see where everything and yeah that's the foot so yeah guys that's about it for this video i hope you liked watching uh, the room tour of my bedroom tour and if you do not watch my studio tour or my vanity then i will link it right here you can definitely go check that one out and yeah that's about it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one